Hello guys, it is Kid EMT and VNC Tree Climbing Services. We are just kids. I am Kid EMT. Cowboy's not here right now. He is at school. I'm online for half the week. I only go Thursday and Friday, but Cowboy's online. The rest of is in school right now. Um, I will see if he wants to be in one tomorrow when he gets here. I'm not at our house. I am at our recording zones where we always record. It's a different background. Don't worry. Um, so I have our gear laid out. My gear, his gear, our recording zone. It's basically our, my bedroom. It's recording. Um, so we have our little thinking light when, you know, we want to think of new ideas. This comes on. Um, so one of us flipped to that. We have our, my laptop, my iPad, my phone, everything that we need to record. So, you know, of course, the, our camera. So, if you guys want to see the gear, I can show you the gear. Um, so we have Zach's gear here. Let me get some of his gear. So we have his bat, his new rope I just bought him. It is a standard barn rope but barn rope I, I I know we're climbing but barn rope is actually a strong rope I always get 100 feet I bought some carabiners a quick block heavy duty carabiner with auto locks you always use a screwdriver to lock that and then some quick links carabiners and then I'll show you his box here in a second then mine I have a quick link with more extra carabiners on it. Then I have my carabiner I clip to my harness. It's the same as our other ones, it's a little bit smaller. So we don't have to deal with the big bulging carabiners. So we have our I know it's a toe strap toe wrap toe, toe, toe strap. Sorry. But it two locking carabiners so we can hook onto each other like into our harnesses. Two locking carabiners so we can hook onto each other in our harnesses. So like I'm over here. Cowboy's over here. It's a good mm, arms like for me. So move so on short trees. So yeah, we have that. Uh we have of course my medical patches because I'm kitty MT. I always have to have these on me. This is a camo. Iraq, Afghanistan military shirt. Um, I am wearing blue jeans. Uh, I have a belt. Click the belt. If you go back into another one of our videos, I'll show the belt. Actually, here. Now, I'll do a, a belt video on what I wear on me when I'm up in the tree video, but I'll show you all our gear, our harnesses. And just for that measure, we have our recording thingy remote so as I said we will get into the gear now if any of you have any any questions sorry for the pause I had to do something um any questions on the gear there is a video some one of the last three videos I posted has an email email that email any questions and if you want to get some gear like us uh, just text that email email that email um I will respond it's me and Zach's my mine and Cowboy's email I'm Chris it's Cowboy Zach as you know in one of our vlogs so if y'all have any questions just email that email we don't have a Cowboy email yet or a DMT email yet for those questions but you can DM me over on Instagram if you go back to my Instagram just DM me there for any cop questions um my TikTok, my Snapchat is all there. Uh, I'll just read the descriptions that we put. We just do this for fun to entertain our viewers, which is our YouTube family. So, if you guys have any questions, anything, just, as I said previously, do that. So, I'm going to get into our gear. Ready?
see that's where I sit and record and do our videos. That's the laptop. This is don't spice that over there. That's nothing. That's my charging stance. That's my stuff. Oh, this is kitty. This is cowboy stuff. He has a little phone that he uses. I don't know why he's the ball. He gets that. That's for light. And he has his pulley over here. So in the previous video, we used these. Well, not previous videos. So we use those. There's his rope. This is what I use to transfer all our photos to my phone. Yeah, there's a hole here. I know I busted it when I gave, after I gave when I had it. This used to be mine. I gave it to him. Now that's mine. I have that. So this is a piece of rope, you know, just for any unnecessary. Oh, it's already unlocked. Okay. So we have that. He has this rope. It's the same as that rope, but different colors. Um, he has his big carabiner on there. I don't like the big carabiners. To me, they're just too perky. Um, he has a Pressic that he makes. If you go and search up Pressics, basically tie a fisherman's knot on it. And yeah. Here's his harness. It is a... Hold on. Set that down. This is his harness. It is a... Um... I forget the name. Uh... That's the name of his harness. This is his little sock contraption. I don't know what he uses it for, but it's what he does. This is cowboy stuff. This is his tree harness. This is black, all black. So, in the other videos, that's cowboy's harness. Um, then he has the yellow paracord, cheap paracord. Two tree spikes, two gloves, two arms, uh, arm protection things. So, you know, and he has two non climbing carabiners on his chain. I don't know what he uses it for, but he has two non climbing carabiners for any other unfortunate reasons. I do not know. Let me put his pressing back in here. Hold on, sorry for that. Is it all clear? This is our weighted ball, it's a chain. It's just a bunch of chains and cord to throw. It's this, it's a strand. I have the same arm loops as him. I have a vest in there. And here, I have my knife in case, you know, got, got something. Let me unclip this. I have a metal hook, metal loop. Don't know why, I just have that. I have a notebook. I have some hand sanitizer. And then I also have a plastic pulley just for training. Because, you know, that breaks, why not? And we have a screwdriver. Now this pocket here, I think, holds some batteries and a notepad. Stay units. Bottom pocket, I don't know what it contains. Sorry, I'm trying to do this all one-handed, cowboy. This cowboy's not here. You might know him as Zach, because that's his name. Here I have some lights and a head. I have a red blinking light and my headlamp. The paracord bracelet I got, the whistle on it. Yeah. Another red blinking light. I know their difference. Ones, they're different patterns because. Oh, what's over here? Hmm. Where would we get the pocket? My rope is a black rope. It's out on a tree. Yeah, I know it's bent. We used to use it to hang rope by on a tree until it broke. In this pocket, nothing. These side pockets used to haul my rope. Since you know I don't have my rope right now, my rope is up on a tree. I will show it to you guys will see our climbing tree in another video. Yes, it's a real tree outside. And yes, I have a pair of boots in here. Yes, I have gloves. I don't use my gloves because, you know, I'm used to the rope. I play with rope a lot. These are steel toe caterpillar work boots. I have a flashlight. So it's dark out. Yes, I made a little foot strap. And yes, I have some little of his rope. We cut some of his rope. I have binoculars. I have my 
my boot. I have some jute up. I have my harness. And then, oh, not for it. I have my handle to help me get up. I have my pulley that clips onto the handle right there. And I have my pulley that helps me pull myself up. And I have a helm a toboggan with a light. My harness is not the same as his. Mine has blue. You will see in other videos that there are different harnesses. In, in previous videos, I talked about why it talked. I a bunch of. Well, I'm going to set you guys down here real quick. Just face the bag. I get the harness out. Mine is a har better harness than his. Not really. We're, they're equal. Uh, mine rides on me a little. Mine is a. And you can read that name. Harness. I don't know. I bought it off Amazon. Most of our gear here is off Amazon or from stores. So that is our gear. This is how we carry our gear. This is how we store our gear. I'm going to work on cleaning up his mess better. Then he has it. Well, then I put it back in. My gear will be contained, and that's it. Before I move on to any other videos for today, I will work on our gear cleaning it. Yes, my rope is out on a tree. Yes, we use a tree to climb because, you know, we're climbing. And Basically, without a tree, we can't climb. Oh, this is an iPhone 7 in my back pocket. It don't work, it's dead. And the screen's cracked. I just use it so I know I can withstand drops on my iPhone XR. So when we're up in a tree, you know, falls out my pocket, oh well. It doesn't work. And if it cracks the, screen, the glass screen protector, oh well, then I know not to take my phone up into the tree with me. So this is our test phone, if we actually drop it like, like, back to, and oh, it drops, it's okay, because it's just a dummy phone for us. Um, and as I previously said in previous videos, we climb almost on the daily when we're both here. He's not here, I'm just in here, in the... Well, we call it an office, but it's my bedroom. I'm in the office making up videos for you guys. Uh, I have like 60 videos that I'm not posting because, you know, they weren't working. And, you know, so like, make the videos nice, clean, and organized. So for you guys, you guys can understand the content. And if you guys have any questions, please please feel free to email us at ZNCZ and C tree climbing dot at gmail dot com. Now if uh by any other means um please like and subscribe. I know I didn't say that in the beginning, but please help us get to a thousand viewers, a thousand subscribers, and forty thousand views a week so I can do lives on my phone for you guys while we're doing stuff. Um basically it. Besides, my phone's a basic phone. It's just iPhone of XR. iOS 14. It's nothing fancy. It's our, our cameras aren't fancy. We're just kids. So we go with what we can get. For you guys, we try to make the best content. Sorry if I don't sound like I normally do in videos. My, my, my throat's hurting me today. And it's winter. So, you know, long sleeves, long pants. No gloves outside. I'm going to put cowboy boots on because I am country. I put square toe cowboy boots on with my cowboy belt buckle when I'm out, going out places. If not, I just wear my regular EDC belt buckle. My belt, which is a quick attachment buckle. Be like normal belt with a strap, but this is just click, click, like a seat belt. So it's easy for me to just put on and go. Uh, it takes a few seconds to run through the belt loops. But, that's basically it. We don't have helmets yet. We don't have eye protection. We know we're not cutting stuff. We're not getting barking eyes because we're protective. 
I have glasses, so, you know, I'm kind of good, but not really. So, you know, we don't get hurt if we do, we run into, we actually bump into the tree, but, you know, I'm Kitty MT. I study medical stuff so I can help. I can put bandages on stuff. So it's easy for us to know how to do this. And I'm, I've watched enough videos that, and learned and studied that some of this is okay. This that I can't do. I can't go free climbing. I can't. I'm not near mountains, so I'm not gonna go up there free fall, free climbing, like sport climbing. I'm not gonna go up. Uh, uh, free, the mountain. But if you know, for some reason I want to go free climbing, I'll just hook into the rope, have him hold it, and I'll climb up the tree. But I won't hook onto the tree. I'll climb up with my harness on because better be safety. I'll clip in on the tree a little, have a little clip in spot. But for that, um, hold on, guys. Let's see what else we have. Uh, that's basically it for today's video. Yeah, I know I have a. Little, I know y'all seen this one. This is our four gigabyte SD card. Right now I have a sixteen gigabyte in there longer videos like this one was going to be um that's it for this video oh i'm gonna still talk don't worry um but yeah this is my harness it was really cheap we have spent a total of 300 um let me tell you guys on our total we have spent a total of per gear me and cowboy have spent a total of Guys. Me and Cop Boy, this on all our gear here, we have spent a total of $351. That's in rope, harnesses, everything else besides that was in the bags we've already had. Um, so everything else in the bags, we just we've had the boxes in the bags, we just bought all the gear. So, you know, I've had. I've had some rope lying around before, so we just used it. But it, it got too skinny and it broke. It was good heavy-duty rope. Now, if your rope starts getting faded, you know, as you can see, new rope. You see the other rope that Cowboy had, like this one. If your rope starts getting abrasions in it, you can work it like this. And now, if it goes like, now if it can bend together like that, or if it gets cut retire your rope. But that's it. Um, we spent a total of $351.19 on all our gear. Um, basically, basically, I recommend to do it safely, do it nice, be nice about it, be, be good about it. Don't get hurt, because I'm not encouraging you all to go out there and spend thousands of dollars on tree climbing gear. I'm basically saying this is what we do for fun for you guys. We we do dumb stuff. We make dumb content, which y'all love our content, so it's not dumb. But we make all our content here. It's all thought up here in, in me and Cowboy's brain. So that's it. We think of our content. We produce it to you guys. You guys love it. That's why we make it. And I'm not, I don't, nobody sponsors our videos because we're not super, super, not TikTok, super YouTube famous yet. So... That's basically how we do our stuff. We think of our stuff, we just sit around. We could be anywhere. We're like, hey, that'd be a nice YouTube video. We'll find a cam we'll find our cameras and whatever we pack them in. And we'll be like, okay, let's make a YouTube video off of that. And if we like that content for you guys, we'll make more. And more of the content we make for you guys, you guys seem to like. We'll do cop and robbers videos later. Right now we're doing different stuff because the world but different content for you guys is stuff we think of i'm not just gonna do cops and robbers videos we'll do other videos we'll do i think we'll do some cops and robbers in the future uh but if not just rewatch our videos and if you want us to make more just comment it in the comment down below now the best comments i like of you guys talking, I will reply, and I will like, and I will heart them, and if 
I think your content, if I go to your channel and you have enough and you have some good videos, I will subscribe to you. Like a guy that commented on one of my last videos, he did music. He wanted to partner, but I'm, no, I don't partner with people. So that's Catboy, because, you know, we're brothers. But that's that. As I was saying, use rope that you know can hold you. Use rope that has about four kilonewtons of strength. So approximately 255 pounds to 355 pounds. Do not use paracord 550. Even though if it's braided together, it's strong. It can easily snap under weight, even though it's 550 paracord. But because you're lifting yourself, you're using more momentum than you normally would just by hold. It'll hold some weight. We won't hold what we need it to. Um, Cop Boy's gear here is his gear. My gear, we don't mess with each other's gear unless we're doing videos. Like, I'll clean our gear if it gets dirty. But basically in that, it'd be good for each other to keep each other's gear separate. Like, we keep our gear in different places in case one of us isn't here and the other one wants the gear out to be put out before they get here, I will go out there, I will place up the gear, and I'm mostly throwing our ropes over trees. When you go to throw your rope over trees, do different methods, figure out what method is best for you. And in that, in this pocket, in this pocket right here, I have little band-aids. Guess we get a little scratch. I'm bleeding bad. But, you know, we try to make different content for you guys. We make our, sorry, there's nothing over there. I just like looking off in space a lot. Uh, we make different contents on this channel. Um, what have I not already done? What have I not done over? Yeah, you know, we play games. We play different games. On our, I have a PS4 I play on. I watch YouTube a lot. I watch different guys, like... Sorry. If you guys have videos you want us to watch, copy their links and paste it. Paste it in the comments, and if you guys, if it has enough likes and views, we will go like it, and view it, and follow if we like the video. Now, in that being said, we do content here in the safest way possible. We like our gear to be safe, we like you guys to be safe. And we're brothers, so we're on a small tree, so it's nice. Make sure you have a tree and a branch that can hold you. Don't get like a little baby new tree and be like, oh, this can hold me. No, the tw don't use big thick bran branches coming off the tree. Don't use little sticks that come off the big branches because those can snap under pressure. Um, be safe when you climb. Make sure that you have some supervision, somebody on the ground watching you in case they need to pull your rope to get you back. Always have a spotter like me and Cowboy. If he goes up super high, I'll be down spotting. And if I go up, he spots me. Always make sure you, you have a, a way to get, if you fall off a really high tree, make sure you have an area where so, some medical professionals or rescue professionals can get to you. And, and that being said, we're in our front yard and it's not that far away from the house. So, you know, if we needed to, we can do different stuff and that so as Cowboy's not here at the time he's at school so Cowboy normally says hi and you know you guys know Cowboy but Cowboy's not here so you know it's a little different for us and that being said oh wait that's too close that being said Cowboy would normally say like and subscribe like three times as I just said it twice. Um, but yeah. Cowboy's doing good in school. It's very funny sometimes when he's not on camera. I'll try to make a little content on different stuff. But that being said, if y'all have any ideas you want us to film or different content you guys want us to film, just tell us and we will film that. We film different content on our phones and if we don't like it we won't post it good content we're like okay this will be good we use our cameras here i have a camera let me go with cowboy's camera this is cowboy's camera it's on a stand mine's not 
but we share the stand. So his bins and his camera is a cheap little camera, but it works for what he needs and this is how he makes his video, his vlogs. We're making our cops and robbers videos on each channel. We use this camera because it's better. It's more high quality. It has our mic here. Sorry, switch the mic. But yeah, so, and that being said, we make different content for you guys. We want you guys to enjoy the content. If you do not join, enjoy the content, please don't stay. If you're going to hate in the comments, we're going to basically kick you out of the comments. And so, here. This was just some old chain we had lying around in tape. It's pretty heavy. It's like not even a pound. But it works. It goes up and over the tree. We tied some string to it. Some chewed up string just to get it over enough to get over our branches. And that being said, make sure you can reach your branch and make sure if you go tie off your rope on top of the branch, use have some extra rope hanging down. I've learned that the hard way. So if you go to do it, make a slip knot and make sure you have a bunch of rope on the side on the knot so when it goes up the branch or make sure you have something that can reach the branch or if a ladder don't ever tie your brain your rope off too high because i have done that with my black rope that's out there so later i will go get that down and wash it clean it now when you go to wash your rope use hot water in a bathtub don't use chemicals don't use acid don't use lemons don't use anything that can burn your rope Anything that you won't put on your skin that will burn you, don't use it on your rope. Like, don't use bleach, don't use, use Dawn dish soap, or there's actually a rope cleaner out there. That's a name brand, I don't know it, but use Dawn, and that is how we clean our ropes. We clean our ropes once every three weeks because our ropes get too dirty. And if that's the case, your rope gets too dirty and it, you, your hands start getting black, then clean it. One to two hours in hot, soapy water gets all the bacteria off. They have little hand brushes that you brush your rope with. That's a waste of time. Grab a hand, like a quick fist like this, put the rope through, and just pull slowly underwater. Because water just gets in there and will let you burn. And it, the friction will clean the rope. And if your rope you get like a white rope and it gets a black that might take two to three days of cleaning if it's a jet black. Now empty your water and always rinse off all the soap off your rope. So if you use a bathtub, clean it out for when you go to take a bath. If you all take baths, I take showers. But do that and not just cleaning rope. Now if your rope starts getting stiff, that means it's burning. That means too much friction. If your rope starts to, if you get burnt rope, or cuts in your rope, or your rope starts falling apart, where in some of the cases the, th the strands start breaking, that's not good. Rope is made with a core inside around a bunch of little fibers with a strong, steady core. Now, if the fibers on the outside start ripping, okay, don't use your rope where it can get bent or ripped. Don't use on sharp angles. Don't rub it up against bark. If you want to throw your rope over a tree, don't go like that. Go like that. So it flips backwards towards you. Um. So make sure you do it safely. Make sure you have protections for ropes. Have a harness. Don't go up there and be stupid. Don't make a harness out of rope. We've done that. They break. So we bought harnesses. Now if you want a certain harness, you have to have custom made. You have to go to some harnesses shops, but ours fit us nice and snug. I'm not nice and th stug, nice and st snug, not thug. I don't know why, but ours fit us nice and snug. And that being said, we make them fit. Make sure they're adjusted right. Make sure they're tightened for when you go up. Don't have put it on and be like, okay, this will hold me, and then fall back. And be like, oh wait, that didn't hold me. And your harness break. Make sure you get rope that is able to hold you make sure you get stuff that can hold you don't use little baby carabiners like this this is this won't work don't use these these will break and make sure you get carabiners that are like thick don't get carabiners that are like not for climbing they're, they're thin on the back don't get those 
you get big heavy duty chain link carabiners or click link carabiners. You can go to some stores, they don't have them. Basically, go to Lowe's, Dry Supply, Home Depot, and get big carabiners. Not big, big, but some medium carabiners. Get steel carabiners or they'll break. Plastic carabiners don't use those. Those are just stupid. People that use aluminum, okay, yeah, yeah, have fun up in the tree breaking. An oh, arm, not really, but be safe when you do it. Be mindful and that, and make sure you don't hurt yourself or hurt anybody other, hurt anybody. Don't let the rope get wrapped around you. If you're doing it, be, be safe. Make sure you have gloves on. Make sure you have a good grip on the rope. Don't, don't climb a tree that's like 10 feet tall and then run out of rope. Be like, oh wait, how do I get back down? Always tie a knot on the end of your rope in case you're coming down. You don't fall off the end of your rope. It stops on whatever you're using. Pull you up. Um, don't get hurt when you're doing stuff. And be mindful of your surroundings. And that being said, please like and subscribe. I just said it th three times like Hot Boys because he's not here. But please like and subscribe to our channel. Please like and subscribe to Hot Boy. And that is it. Sorry, that's our computer, my computer back there. And that is it for this video. Have a good day and goodbye.